everyone and welcome to the breakdown today I'm gonna be teaching you how to download and install journey map now I do want to remind you that this video is sponsored by gameservers.com go to the breakdown.xyz slash MC server first link down below to get an awesome Minecraft server for just one dollar per month it's the best deal out there we love them we use them for all of our servers to go check them out again the breakdown.xyz slash MC server first link down below so journey map is an awesome mini map mod it's the one that I've used for a long time and the reason I like it so much is because it's based on Forge. So, before we can get journey map we need to get forge and to do that so we go to the second link down below it will take you here where you want to scroll down and click the big green download forge button this takes us off to forge's website where we can then click on installer right here now we want to make sure this is whatever version of journey map we're installing for me that's 1.12.2 so we're good here and we want to go ahead and click installer it will then take us off to add focus where you have to wait five seconds in these five seconds i want to say this don't click anything on this page what you want to do is wait until up into the top right hand corner you see skip click skip and it will download forge i promise it's safe it's been downloaded by millions of people. Now we can go over and download Journey Map, which is the third link down below. Go down there, click that, and it will take you to this page where we can go over to Files, find the version we want, which for me is going to be the 1.12.2 version. Click on that, and then click Download right here. That is then going to download it, and we want to keep it because, again, it's safe. I promise it's safe. Once that file is kept, we can minimize our browser, and here we have two files. Forge and Journey Map. If they aren't on your desktop, simply hit the Windows button up here. For you, it's probably in the bottom left. Type in Downloads, hit Enter, and it will open up your Downloads folder. Drag them from your Downloads folder to your desktop, just for ease of use. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and install Forge. To do that, simply right-click on it, open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. That will open up your handy little installer. If you don't have Java Platform SE Binary here, click the fourth link down below, and that will take you off to where you can download the Java SDK, download the update version of Java basically and that will appear now let's go ahead and make sure install client is selected and then click OK it's gonna go through download some stuff and there you go successfully installed client profile forge click OK and now we can delete this drag it over whatever you don't need this file anymore and now we want to install journey map to do that hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time type in percent APPDATA percent percent app data percent hit enter that will open up our roaming folder we want to go and do dot Minecraft and then we want to go into mods but Nick what if we don't have a mods folder what do we do well it's simple just right click create a new folder and title it mods all lowercase just like that hit enter on it save it go ahead and click on that and then drag journey map into your newly created mods folder there you go if you already have a mods folder just go in there and drag and drop pretty easy now we can open up minecraft by going right here for me and once Minecraft is open, I'll show you how to make sure you select the right version. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. Now in the bottom down here, you're going to want to click the little green arrow next to the play button and click on the profile titled Forge right there. Then you should be able to click play. If for whatever you have an issue, simply go over here to launch options, click on the Forge profile you created, and then right here under version, find the Forge version you want. For me, that is going to be right here. Forge 1.12.2 and then that's the most recent version number that we just downloaded. Click save and then click back over here. Make sure it's selected here yet again and click play. And now open up Minecraft with Forge installed. This might take a while because Forge does take longer to open than just stock based Minecraft. If that's the case, don't freak out. As long as it looks like it's doing something, you're good to go. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, it's pretty easy to see if Journey Map is installed. One of the ways is going into the mods folder here, and there it is, right? Boom, it's installed. And then also you can jump over here into a single player world, and you're obviously going to see mini map in the top right hand corner up there. Right, right up there it is. And then if you hit, what is it? I don't know what the control is. You can go into options over here, click on your controls and scroll all the way down to the bottom and see what all of the controls are for like the full screen map and all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy stuff, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft content every single week. Like this video, all of that awesome stuff. I'm Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.